We speak over the lives of your sons and your daughters. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will make a way, that you will open doors, O God. Let me declare, O God, supernatural answers to prayer. We declare, O God, that the grace of God will be multiplied even over the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. chapter 6 verse 22 it says and the Lord spoke to Moses saying speak to Aaron and to his son saying thus you shall bless the people of Israel and you shall say to them the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace so shall they put my name upon the people of Israel and I will bless them. Look, look at what the scripture says. The scripture says the, this is how God was instructing Aaron and his sons to bless God's people. He says the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, the Lord be gracious, gracious to you, the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace and then verse 27 says and it said so shall they put my name upon the people so every time you speak this blessing you proclaim the name of the Lord upon the people not only do you do that but the Lord says and I will bless them and that means when we sing it in the atmosphere when we sing it over the lives of our family, when we sing it over the lives of our loved ones, when we sing it over the, the, the church, you, you're saying this is the way you put the name of the Lord upon the people and then it says, and I will bless them. That means while we declare, it is God saying, I'm going to bless them. Amen. Did you see the, 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 there's a correlation between you speaking and the Lord blessing. And the Lord is blessing them through you releasing the sound. Through you releasing the blessing, God is, is blessing the people. And so I want you to, to make a purpose in your heart that wherever you go, over your family, over your loved ones, this week, take the opportunity to bless them. Speak this blessing over them. The Lord bless you and keep you. This whole, the Numbers chapter 6 from 22 to 27 speak that over somebody amen i'm believing god that he's going to make his face shine upon them god is going to be gracious to them god is going to lift up his countenance yes. upon them when, when we say god is going to lift up his countenance that means he's going to surround them with his very presence yes. amen and this is our, our prayer that god will give them peace father we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the honor this evening we rejoice at being in the house of God. And Father, I pray, receive our worship. Receive, O oh God, our prayers of thanksgiving. Father, for those of God that are in the house of God this evening, as we stand in the gap of God for the body of Christ, I pray, O oh God, may the grace of God be multiplied upon them. Father, may you bless them. May you keep them. May you make your face shine upon them. May you be gracious to them. May you give them peace in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that they will, you said in your word, that you will bless their going out and their coming in. And Father, we declare over every household that is trusting you for the medical, that is trusting you for the divine intervention. Even for those that are joining us online, I pray right now, the atmosphere will let their homes. I'm going to change by the presence of the Lord, by the power of God. I pray, O oh God, that you will stir the voices. O oh God, O oh heaven, you will stir the voices. 
Yes, we 
an activation, oh God. There's an activation right now. There's a stirring all over the world, oh God. Oh, it's your move, God. It's no other move but the move of God.
that we, your servants, are ready to receive the word of the Lord. We're ready to receive the word that will touch and change and transform our lives. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. And everybody said amen. 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 You may be seated. The Bible says that surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Amen. And we, we are so glad that God is in this place. We, we are so glad for, to have General back. Amen. And the family back. And we just thank God for what he is doing. Amen. That means uh, miracles are happen when you move. Yeah. Healing is coming in this room. Amen. Yeah. That we declare that we can see it with our eyes. Amen. Yeah. The hand of the Lord. And so I believe that there will be more testimonies in, in weeks to come of the hand of the Lord being mighty upon the lives of sons and the sons and daughters of God. Amen. Amen. I wanted to share a few thoughts with you today. At the beginning of the year, I made some prophetic, prophetic declarations over the church at our New Year's Eve service. And uh, I went back and I started to look at, at some of what was said. And uh, it makes more sense now than it did then. And then we had an opportunity, Annie and I were just glancing through um, some of the prophetic declarations that individual families made. And, uh, and, and you can see how God was interweaving things. Amen. I can assure you that these, our New Year's Eve gatherings where we make prophetic declarations, they're not just mere utterances into the air. But they are really carry a weight with it. It carries a, a prophetic mandate with it. Amen. The Bible says in Job chapter 22, verse 28, it says, You will de declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine upon your ways. One of the things that we entered the year with was making prophetic declarations. And then I made a statement that says, Whilst there, will, there, there has been and will be a lot of unrest going on in the world this year. We must rise above it and enter into the God's rest and prepare for what is coming, the revival that will come after. You will find a new weapon for your warfare. When you combine your worship with a declaration style of what music and prayer, you will find a new weapon for warfare. Okay. This was okay. statements that are made at our New Year's Eve service. There was a few declarations I made. I, I said I decree and, and I declare that this year in which, uh, sorry, in, in this year we, uh, God has heard our cries for mercy and things are turning around. I speak the opening of the heaven's gates and the ancient doors that will bring us into a deeper relationship with you and God. We decree a time of renewing our strength and soaring in the presence of God. We declare that times of spiritual hopelessness and disappointments and disappointments have to come to an end. And this is a year of sudden good breaks. Make us ministers of reconciliation and help us to bring healing to people everywhere we go. We agree that new things will bring spiritual refreshing to those that have been in the wilderness. We declare a new day as God's light shines on us and through us. Then, then the point of eight was help us to be stretched in order to receive all that you have for us. Teach us your love as you love us, God. Teach us how to love others. Give us wisdom on how to help those who are in need of the love of God. Grant us the ability to forgive and not judge others. 
we have gladly received the pruning needed for our lives so that we can in order that we may remain in you we decree that this year we will step into a place to have greater authority to see answers to things we ask for in prayer we are in agreement that god's promises to pour out his spirit on us and our descendants and we declare that we will see them grow fast and strong open opportunities for us to see who's others who are in need and how we can touch them use us to bring healing to people that have been wounded and rejected we pray lord that there will be a new sound from heaven that will be released on the earth and the last point i made was we declare and decree that we will live our lives this year above all negativity around us we will look for doors of opportunity and ask for eyes to see all that god is doing we declare that over our lives and sometimes you do not know how it will unfold you know that's that's the nature of prophetic you speak it and then god gives you an opportunity to walk in it i i i ended up by saying my prayer for you is that you find something in these declarations that will help you to press on into god for more i want to encourage you to contend more and not and, and not settle for less I am agreeing in prayer for your breakthrough this year 2020. This is a time like never before that we will need to be proactive to get to the next level. I I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it in writing myself. But I have seen the hand of the Lord. It testifies to me that this is a prophetic house. I believe God has given us a prophetic mandate that spans our nation and our city and it spans our generation. Yeah. And so I am more and more convinced that God has greater things in store for us. I want to share a few thoughts this evening maybe in in seed form. of what i believe god is going to do in the next 10 years many people right now are focused on the now and getting through the moment but i believe in the next 10 years is going to be a prophetic unfolding of divine purposes of god in our lives in the life of this church in the life of ministries all over the earth that we we declare that as we we were not when we were entering 2020 we were not just entering into another year but we were entering into another decade and we were saying god we are not just coming into a year and this was prophetic in the fact that for those that were limited just to try to get through the year There is a decade where God is bringing us into. Yeah. I believe that the previous 10 years that has prepared us for this, God was opening our eyes to begin to see things that he was getting the church ready to go into. But I believe that 2020 is a year where God is calling us to speak what we have seen. And this is with the way we read in the book of Job it says when you decree and declare the thing it will be established for you that i believe that in the next 10 years it's got to do a lot with our declaration and our speaking and i believe that we need to speak as the sons and daughters of zion and we need to speak from a heavenly place and declare what the purposes of god is for us in this season we will be wise and we will arise and declare 
what the Lord has shown us. We will see our, our salvation. We will, we will prepare for the presence and for the power of God. We will experience a new level of revelation in this year that it will begin to set us for the next 10 years. I believe that this year, 2020, is a paradigm shift. There's a paradigm shift that is taking place and God is, 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 is repositioning and aligning us. But the word to us is, it's now time to speak as the Zion company of God. That we're going to see in this year, in this next 10 years will be a mobilization and an alignment of kingdom resources so that God can position us. I believe that in the next 10 years that God is raising up Joseph's, is raising up Daniel's, and is raising up those that have the spirit of David, that can operate as kings and priests. That means as Joseph's, that means like Joseph in the Bible was aligned in a governmental position, and his main job was to bring wisdom concerning the famine that was to come. God is going to raise up Joseph's in this day that is going to show us strategies on how we can overcome the challenges that we are facing as a society. I believe that. I believe God is raising up Daniel. Daniel was a politician. His job was to bring righteousness and alignment into the infrastructure of government agencies in order to keep them blessed by God. That I'm believing God, that God will raise up Daniels in this time. That, that I don't take for granted the fact that our government has passed a rule that even independents can now stand for national elections. And I'm believing God that because one of the challenges that we had as a nation is that many of our political persuasions have had different views and you were confused as to how to vote because you did not agree with all of the persuasions. But with God is raising up Daniels in this day that will bring righteousness and an alignment even into infrastructure, governmental infrastructure, so that the purposes of God, even for our nation, will be accomplished. I believe that. God is going to begin to move. Now, I'm not saying I'm the Daniel. I'm saying God is going to raise up Daniels from the kingdom. People that have that, that persuasion that will come into that place and not forget their God. And not, there will be people that are still able to pray three times a day and five times a day. There are people that are still able to stand and say, my conviction is I will not bow my knees. Yeah. And I believe in God, that God is already raising these people that were in the background. We're going to see the Josephs and the Daniels manifest into, uh, in, into their positions. And then we're going to also see those that God is going to raise up like King David that had both a kingly and a priestly anointing. Those that will operate in the marketplace and also be able to come before God and offer sacrifices before God. But there's a place for the church to equip and to train them. There's a place for fivefold ministry all over the world to prepare these dates, to prepare these Josephs, to prepare these Daniels, equip them and train them, so they will will know how what God is looking for, and they will be able to have the the, the, the stability in the Word of God that they will be able to influence structures, and structures will not influence them. I believe. I believe in the next 10 years, I'm praying that the church will come into a greater level of authority. Luke chapter 10 verses 19, it says, Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, 
over and over all the power of the enemy and not and nothing by any means will hurt you we are responsible God has entrusted this into our hands. There is a greater level of authority. But with this authority comes our ability to follow God's instruction. We must believe that what God has for us and what he instructs us to do is better than other ideas. We have to come to the place where we submit to the ideas and the thoughts and the mandate of God. Then righteousness and God's ways will be our inheritance. If we're going to come into this season and into a greater measure of the authority that God has invested in the church, then righteousness and God's ways must be our inheritance. Like Abraham that came and he said that and God spoke to Abraham and he says I will be your exceeding great reward. I also want you to know in following the instruction of God honor is the currency of heaven. The principle of honor is what God begins to transact with the earth with. righteous instructions will cause great favor grace even wealth transfer to come to the church of Jesus Christ this is a season where we have to begin to trust God that each of us is the vessels of God trust God that the change that there will be a changing of the spiritual atmosphere Trust God that even the climate around us will begin to change at the presence of the Lord. I believe it is time for us to leave a, a, a great legacy. I want us to be remembered as a kingdom generation of people. I want us to be remembered as those that really trusted God. I entitled some teachings during the lockdown and it says this is a move. I believe this is what the move is. God's call to the church of Jesus Christ to come to righteousness. God's call to come to the church of Jesus Christ to raise up our sons and daughters. That we have to prepare a Joseph. We have to prepare a Daniel. We have to prepare the date and we look at all of these characters in their lives the shaping was not easy Daniel was part of those that were selected out of Israel and brought into into Babylon and taught the principles of Babylon his identity was stripped from him in the fact that his name was changed His identity was attacked in the form of they tried to make him eat new foods and and live a different lifestyle and think in a different pattern. But one of the things what Daniel chose was he was not going to defy it. In the world today there's much identity that is being placed on us. The identity of the world. But in this season may the Lord help us. As I said as I started off this is a season we are coming into a time to speak and to declare to nations to people to kindreds and to tongues to align to God's instruction and as they align to God's instruction there will be world changing events that will take place I'm believing I'm believing God that we're going to see on an unprecedented level the interventions of God in the affairs of man and as we see it we will begin to know this is God because in the natural it didn't seem possible but i believe God is orchestrating divinely events he is raising up men and women 
that have been silent in, in the past season. But God is raising them up in this season. So the next 10 years is going to be exciting. The next 10 years is going to be exciting as we will begin to see. And may the church be in the forefront. Maybe not say we thought about it. The Spirit of God told me and didn't say anything. But we will be people that will speak a thing. And we will see it established in our day. Let's just bow our heads together. Father, right now. We believe in you. We believe in you, God. That your word, all that you said is A and Amen. You said you sent forth your word and you healed all their sicknesses. Healed all their diseases. Just one word from you, Lord. That's what we need. And so today, you oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. As the church of the living God, we will never be surprised. But oh God, raise up watchmen in this hour. Raise up men and women, oh God, that will stand upon the wall and keep God. Oh God, raise up, oh God, those prophetic voices throughout the nation, oh God. Those that will speak in government, those that will speak over the church, those that will speak over society. This will be a season, oh God, where the church, oh God, will enter the mainstream, oh God, and influence the order of our society. And no longer will we be victims of unrighteous laws. But we will stand as the voice of God. So we pray, O oh God, let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. O oh God, may the church of Jesus Christ arise in this hour. Let this be our finest hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.